Hey guys, in today's video, I am gonna show you how to repair the foam inside of your car seats. Uh, this is out of a BMW E36, but this will work in any case. Uh, it's super easy to repair this. It's in really bad shape. I'm reupholstering the seats, guys. But in this episode, we're strictly focusing on the foam. So this is the backrest of the seat, right? Um, it's actually in way worse shape than it looks. I mean, you have a hole here all the way through. We got this hole. So I'm gonna show you how to fix both of these. But also, if you look here, see all this? See, it's ripped there. There's actually a hole all the way through. Um, same with there. Let me turn this thing around. So on the back side, see, you can see, like this is the better side. So I'm gonna show you how to fix all this so it's good as new. See, look, it's all ripped. And here, see that goes right through, right through. Okay, let's go in the house. That's the first thing we're gonna do. I'll show you guys some. Okay, so I've already done the bottom part. See, it's looking nice. Uh, this isn't pushed in yet, so if it looks wrinkled, that's why. But anyways, so see this, this sits on here super nicely. See these? go around like these metal things see just like that so I mean obviously the problem is here and there like this all needs to be fixed okay let's go outside and start fixing this this is easy guys don't be scared you guys can do this easy stuff let's get her done okay guys let's quickly talk glues so this is contact cement you can get this at Walmart um, you can use a paintbrush for what we're doing. So you put it on one side, put it on the other side, you wait about 15 minutes, and then you stick it together. That's how this glue works. This glue I got at a like reupholstery store. So I've never used it. This is gonna be my first time using it. But he told me it's basically contact cement in a spray can, and that's all it is, right? So I mean, you can buy spray can contact cement. We're gonna use this. You basically spray it on one side, spray it on the other side, and then you glue your two materials together. The only difference with this is you don't have to wait 15 minutes. You only have to wait a minute or two, and then you can stick the stuff together. So we're using this, guys. But in your case, you can use this with a paintbrush. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so in my case, the first thing we're gonna do is fix these rips here, see? on the back of it. Um, what we're gonna use is, I just got this at the dollar store, four bucks. It's just like a cover for painting. It feels like a potato sack, good stuff, right? So I'm gonna cut out some pieces and I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. Okay, here we have our first piece that I made, see? Just like that. So I mean, you know where it's gonna go. Like there's a piece missing here, but so you can see on this side, the height of it. So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna kind of put this in here. See exactly where it's gonna go. Something like that. See, like that. So we're gonna trace it with a marker. Okay, it's traced just like that. See, so we know where it's gonna go. Um, okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our glue Shake it up for five minutes. Okay, so let's do it. Wow, very nice. Just like that, and then here. Very cool. I am impressed. Okay, we're gonna give that a few minutes, three minutes. Um, it's gotta be to the point where when you touch it, it's not sticky or wet or anything. So three minutes, guys. Okay, guys, while I was waiting for this to dry, I did another spot here. Same idea, so that's drying now. Okay, um, so this will stick right away. Sorry, my phone fell. Okay. Anyways, 
So far so good, yeah. See, it sticks very, very nice. Like this is gonna make it really strong. See, like that. And there. Look at that. Majorly reinforced. I mean, you guys get what I did there, right? Check it out. See, look at that. It's really, really strong. Like it's on there really good. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do basically anywhere that there's a rip on this side. Like if that's like that, I'm gonna just put a patch on the outside. You get it? Like I'll do a little patch in here. Like you'll see, I'm gonna do this, this side and some of it, and then I'll get right back to you. Like you get the idea. This is amazing glue, I'm telling you guys. So cool. Okay, I'm gonna off camera tape this up. There's way more steps. We got an old seat here out of a different car. We're gonna be using this foam on the other side. I will get to that, be patient. Oh yeah, and one other thing, if you wanna speed up the drying process of the glue, hair dryer. That really speeds it up, guys. Okay, just quickly showing you some in-betweens. See, it's really working. Also, once you got a piece glued on, you can just spray this and you can overlap them even if you have to, see? Because I got a big long crack right here. So I'm gonna put that on there. You guys are getting this. Okay, I'm gonna honestly do a whole bunch off camera now. Okay, guys, so here it is. This is what you want, see? It's so strong, I'm telling you. Like, this is stronger than it was brand new. So I got it all nice, see, just like that, everywhere I could. Okay, so now we're gonna turn it around. The back is 100% done. We're not doing anything else there. So now on the front, we will get to the, the big rips. Don't worry about that. Um, so right here, see when you bend this, there's a crack there. So these metal little rods, we gotta leave those exposed because that's for the hog ring uh, to attach the upholstery. But we're just gonna put little strips, get it? Like, and fold them in to like reinforce the areas that it's ripped. So I mean, same idea, we're gonna use the same stuff. Uh, okay, let me off camera do that. And if you got any kind of rip on any kind of side, see like everything's good there. Uh, right here, see we had a rip. I got it from the inside pretty good, see? But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put like a patch on here as well with this. Okay, let me do that. Okay, so here we have, basically it's fixed now. See, everything is nice and everything's looking good. See, that's all it takes. Just like that, the back's all fixed. Very, very solid, guys. Okay, now we're gonna fix these two spots. So this spot and this spot, as you can see, it's not looking good. Grab yourself a brand new blade. We're basically gonna cut like, like, a, like a block out of it to get rid of all the crappy foam that's not, that's brittle, see? Uh, the only thing we're gonna watch out for is that stuff in the back that we glued in, right? We don't wanna cut into that. Um, okay, let me show you. Okay, see, so you wanna get to the solid. If you got a situation like this, see, we're gonna cut like a cube out of here too. Okay, so you get the idea. So I'm gonna do the little cube here, and then this part, we're gonna cut away what's no good too. Okay, so here we are, as you can see, pretty straight. So now, I did the other one too. Um, this is different, right? But I'm just gonna cut out basically what I need out of this foam from a different car. You could just buy high density foam somewhere at a reupholstering store. But in our case, 
you can go to the junkyard and get one of these. Okay, I'm gonna cut some pieces out and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so here's the piece I made, see? Nothing to it. That's just basically gonna go like that, see? Nothing wrong with that. I mean, if you had just a piece of foam, right? You could glue it on and then get a knife and you could shape it, make it the right shape. Okay, so let's glue this on. Okay, let's wait a few minutes and put it on. Okay, let's put this on. Look at that. Camera fell again. Anyways, yeah, it's... Wow, guys, I need to invest in a better tripod. Anyways, uh, check it out. So there it is. I mean, it's on really, really good. That's never coming off. So I can take a utility knife and just smooth this out a bit, which I'm going to do. Um, yeah, maybe. Okay, so here, you see there's like an indentation. So I got a little piece. Uh, and that's just going to go in there. See, just like this, I already sprayed the glue in between takes. There we go. And then I made myself a nice little corner piece, see? Which will just go right there. Just like that. Uh, I'm going to cut out a little piece here just to go around this. Like, it's not hard, guys. And don't worry, this isn't the final step yet. There's still going to be two more steps here. Okay, guys, let's put this piece on. Beauty. I can't believe how good this glue works. Now, see how there's like, this is sticking out a bit. So I mean, you can grab a knife. And you can shape it. Okay, so there it is. Look at that. It feels very, very good. Uh, this feels Super good too, it's got volume to it. Okay, so now, this stuff. So these two areas that we uh, re redid or whatever, right? We're gonna grab, cut the right size piece out, get it, and we're gonna glue it on to hide our work. There's two more steps, guys, so I'm gonna ready these pieces. Okay, guys, it started raining, so we're gonna work in this little well now. Okay, next thing we're doing is we're gonna put this on to hide our work. Okay, let me show you how to do that. Okay, so this is gonna go on like this. We're gonna put it just like that, but I'm just gonna glue this side first. So on the back of this, see I'm gonna go like this, and I'm just gonna draw a line where the foam kinda ends. So I know where to put the glue up to. There we go. Just like that. So I'm gonna put glue on here and glue just on the front part of the foam. Okay, see, so we got glue on here. And glue on there, we'll just be able to fold that over. I'm just gonna give that a few minutes. Okay, now we flip it over. And on this side, we're obviously gonna put glue on here, glue on here, and we're just gonna glue this on and cut it, right? You guys get it. And anywhere where there's like a wrinkle where it folds over, we'll cut a slice, put a little bit of glue on top and just 
stretch this on. Um, I'm gonna do this off camera because my tripod broke and the camera keeps falling. Okay, let me do this. Okay, so I put these cuts into it, relief cuts, right? So then I'll be able to pull it over and if one needs to overlap the other one, I just spray a little bit of glue on first. Just psh, wait 30 seconds. Um, so that's all we're doing there and whatever sticks out, we're just gonna cut off. All right, here it goes. Well guys, I ran out of glue, so I'm just using the contact cement, which I originally told you you could use too. See, just brush it on. Same thing, we're gonna wait a few minutes and good to go. Okay guys, so there it is, looking pretty nice. See how solid this is? Um, there is a little bit of a hump to it. I could have cut it better, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. There's still another step. Also, now that I used the contact cement on some of this, um, the can of that stuff is so much better. The contact cement just takes way too long to dry. Um, well, whatever I end up buying right now, I'm going to buy a can of spray contact cement or glue or the same stuff I had to show you the next step. So I guess I'm going to the store and picking up some glue. This thing is solid, guys. Solid. Okay, guys, I am back from the store. So I ended up finding this stuff. Gorilla uh, brand uh, spray adhesive. And this is also a spray adhesive. This was half the price of this stuff. I believe it's gonna do the exact same thing. So for the next step, we're gonna use this glue, guys. And the next step will kind of hide this imperfection here and some of these imperfections. Trust me, you're not gonna see any of that once this is all installed. Okay guys, so before we move on to the next step, right? Um, check out my playlist below. I'm gonna have a really detailed video on how to reupholster um, seats, like every single step of it to make them look brand new. Also, if you wanna buy good covers for seats, um, L seat, here's the website. Very good uh, place, I bought seat covers from them. They're unreal, they, the price, the quality, everything, you can't beat it guys, so that's where I'm getting my seats. For this BMW E36 guys that I'm working on. Okay guys, so next I bought this piece of foam, see? Just a skinny piece of foam. I bought this at the uh, reupholstering store same place that I got this stuff at. I went to like a fabric store and they didn't have it. So this is what you need. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue this on basically over top, see like that. And that will cover anything up. Uh, let me show you. This is so hard to record with a broken tripod, guys. I'm obviously picking one up right away. So, right, so we're gonna spray the glue on both sides onto the foam, right? And then I'm gonna put it on and stretch it on just like that, see? Pretty straightforward, right? I mean, I don't think I need to show that. So I'm gonna do that right now, guys. Okay, I'm gonna spray the Gorilla Glue onto this side. Okay, I mean, it's clear, so it's a little bit harder to tell where you're spraying it, but I'll tell you if it works the same or not. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, now we're gonna spray it on this stuff. I mean, it's see-through color, but I think it's gonna do the exact same thing, guys. Maybe it sprays out a little slower. So anyways, I'm gonna spray this whole entire thing just the way I am. Okay guys, I'm about to put it on. Um, honestly, this is way better. 
I should have just spent the extra 15 bucks and went to the other store, but it was further. So I got this. Um, I think it's still gonna work, but honestly, I don't know if I could have used this to, to do what I did. Well, I guess we're about to find out. I tried a little piece of foam. It doesn't seem to be sticking the way this stuff did. Like this is like on forever. Okay, let's just put it on and see what happens. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm just gonna flip it over, spray some glue, wrap it around and cut it. Okay, well, the Gorilla Glue is working. Nothing against Gorilla Glue, but yeah, it's not as good as the other stuff. Maybe I'm using it for the wrong purpose or something, but it did the trick. Um, sorry, I wasn't recording that good. Anyways, I'm just gonna wrap this. Right, so I'm gonna spray Gorilla Glue on here, on here, and I'm just gonna wrap this around. I'm gonna do that off camera. It's pretty straightforward what I'm doing, and then I'll show you guys the final result. Okay guys, so here is the final product. That looks incredible. So make sure if you're gonna look for a reupholstering kits, check out the uh, L-Seat guys. Great place, that's where I got these ones. And now you know how to fix your foam. So throw me a subscription. Till next time, everybody. Mm -hmm.